Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back out on the review bench with another Savage Rifle. This is somewhat of an update video. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know I kind of started my channel running around with um, budget-minded value precision rigs, as I called them. And one of the very first ones I'd done was the Savage Model 11 Hog Hunter in 308 and 223. But a few years ago, whenever the Savage started redoing their stock styles, they came out with the 110 line. And this is the new version of the Hog Hunter. This is the Savage 110. Now, there are some similarities, and there's a couple of differences I wanted to point out between the two in case you were looking at this model as it compares to the older one. The big difference is going to be the price. The new model 110 Hog Hunter is almost roughly $200 more than the old one. I'm still up in the air. I personally don't think it's worth the extra money. Some may, some not. But to kind of go over the, the similarities, it's still running the same 20-inch medium-profiled threaded barrel. This one is in 308. It does come factory with the, the iron sights. I have taken them off because I'm going to be running a scope for this test today. The, the stock is upgraded. It's still, however, the same kind of hunter green. Now, I will say the color of this of the new stock is a lot better than the old one, but this is not an Accu stock. It's just an Accu fit stock. So this one does come with the extended length of pool spacers, a few different sizes in the box and the really nice butt pad. So that's gonna be super nice for the heavier recoiling calibers. Still has the Savage Accu trigger. This one here from the factory is breaking around four and a half pounds, which for what we're doing is good to go. Still has the oversized bolt handle. So if you are using this as a hunting application, uh, you know, hogs as it's intended to, you can get a little bit quicker follow-up shot with that. Bilug, bilugged uh, bolt does not come with factory sight or uh, scope mount basis, so you have to source them. I'm not really too fond of this setup I got going on here. It's kind of janky, but it's what I had in the parts box to kind of get this video done. The big upgrade or difference, I would say, is the addition to the detachable box mag. So it's got Savage's newer plastic box magazine. I like these. I think it's a good idea, especially for a hunting style rifle. You could have another one of these inside your inside your coat, inside your pants, you know, having another magazine ready, especially if you're hog hunting. But it's still flush fit, so you don't have to worry about bashing into brush or anything like that with it. So that's a good thing. Now, one miss I think they did do is that they've put the bottom boat release on these now where I'm pretty sure previously they were side so you could just fit any model 10 stock on here now again this is a little bit better than the ones they had before because you do get the accu fit but this is not an accu stock it does not have the aluminum bedding block inside it like say the 110 tactical and things like that so just keep that in mind again it is threaded uh, this one's 5 8 24, so we are going to be shooting it suppressed today. But um, I've got a Burris 6.5 to 20 full field 2. So let's get a few shots on paper, and we'll just kind of see how it does, guys. All right, guys, we got the Savage 110 Hog Hunter here zeroed in at 110 yards. We're going to take a few shots. The 308 ammo is kind of at a uh, premium around here at the hide. I got plenty of just blasting ammo, but not much for the way of accuracy testing. But I do have a couple of hand loads I'm going to throw through it and just kind of see what happens. We'll do some five shot groups. And I've also got a soft point kind of plinking load that I use for a lot of different things. Probably be a good representation of a, of a hunting load for you hunters. So we'll try five of these Hornady uh, 168 grain hollow point boat tail over top of about 44 grains of Varget. And like I said, one of the, the differences of the newer hog hunter here is the addition of the detachable mag so that's pretty cool keep you four rounds you know right at the at the ready in your vest or pants pocket or what have you if you are a hog hunter so that's definitely a uh, good benefit over the previous model
put our fifth one in here. Not too terrible. All right, so let's try some hundred and these are 178 grain ELDs over about 45 grains of Varget. So a little bit different projectile here. Let's see what these will do at 110. That previous load, not too overly impressive, that's for sure. Let's see what these can do for us. Now again, none of these hand loads are loaded for this rifle. It's just some extra stuff that I had here at the house that kind of was in the same specification. Last one of these. And you can load this rifle from the top if you so choose. Just take it in, push it to the back, and then seat it down into the magazine. That still works. All right, that one's kind of got away from me a little bit, but... Now here's just some 150 grain Hornady soft point. I think these were loaded at around 35 grains of 3031, so nothing too dramatic, but this has proved to be a good load in a lot of different things just to kind of plink around with and knock steel around and such, so. All right, one more of these. Oh, that is what happens if you don't get the round all the way to the back. You can kind of jam that magazine up a little bit. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and try another group of this 178 grain stuff. It seemed to do pretty good. I think that last that last shot kind of got away from me a little bit. So let's try let's try five more of these and just kind of see see how it does here. Mm. Got our 
magazine kind of cattywampus there. Maybe not liking this as well as I thought. All right. Well, let's run down. I'm going to grab the paper. We'll bring it back and we'll take some final look at this and get some final thoughts. All right, guys. So here's our here's our target. This is our first group. And here's my thumb just for reference. We had some vertical stringing there. Second group, same thing. There's that 150 grain soft point load. And there's the last load of that 178 grain stuff. So to be honest with you, nothing really, really impressive. I'm actually really disappointed in that to be honest with you if memory serves the hog hunter that i had years past it shot very well and would shoot into moa without a whole lot of trouble so pretty consistent so maybe i just need some more trigger time with this one i don't know maybe get some uh loads custom tailored to just it but again this rifle really is not meant for precision shooting it's a hunting rifle. It's a hunting gun. It's to take hog hunting. So, I mean, it does come with factory iron. So definitely take this with a grain of salt. I think it's still a fine, fine rifle. I guess the big question is, is it worth the added cost that they put to it? Um, for me, I'm going to say no. I would just assume have the old Model 11 and save myself 200 bucks. But that's just me. You might really like the the detachable mag and the addition of the length of pool spacers that's uh that's kind of subjective that's going to be up to uh, each shooter but uh, overall it's still a fine rifle may do a little bit more shooting with it may not just kind of stay tuned and let me know down below if you want to see some more shooting with it um, give me a comment down below and let me know but uh, if you like this content give me a shout you know i'm always glad to interact with you guys hit me up over on the facebook page like share and subscribe it really really does help the channel guys and as always shoot straight later